And I'm helping the, uh, uh, the Chilo Boston Innovation Center to uh, reach out to as many startup companies as well as uh, entrepreneurs. Hi, I'm Steve Dickman, and I just moderated a panel here at the Biofarm America conference put on by the EBD group. Uh, we're in Boston today, and we were talking about flows of Chinese money into biotech. Uh, that could mean a lot of different things. Our panel covered a lot of different subjects. I'm happy to say that I'm here this afternoon with uh, Larry Tsai from Xilu. That's a pharmaceutical company in China. It has $2.1 billion of annual revenues in multiple indication areas. And Larry is based here in Boston, and he's going to talk a little bit about what Chilu is doing, its corporate goals, his own personal pursuits within the company, and to recapitulate a little bit of what we talked about on our panel. Larry? Thank you, Steve. Uh, as I mentioned uh, earlier, and Chilu has grown tremendously from its humble beginning back in 1958 from a little bit over 100 people to right now worldwide over 11,000 employees. And we have uh, more than 200 products on the market and about 45% of those are, are in the oncology space uh, and among many others. And uh, that's our main focus as our continue to uh, go about the providing innovative uh, treatment for uh, patients in China. So the, in, the overarching philosophy for us is to uh, search for the area where we can provide uh, uh, most innovative treatment for as many patients as possible. And it, in the oncology space, especially with a solid tumor, for instance, lung cancer, uh, esophageal gastric, liver cancer, colorectal cancers, and uh, across many different uh, uh, therapeutic areas, uh, liver disease is uh, one area we also focus on a lot, such as uh, NASH, HBV, as well as uh, liver cancer, as we mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's interesting. So you're trying to kind of come up with the right combination of a product that can treat as many people as possible, but is also as innovative as possible. So what kinds of products do these typically wind up being? Oh, those are, you know, we started from a patient, as always, is uh, our goal to treat a patient uh, with a med medical need. And this is where we see the uh, convergence of innovation as well as uh, the resource coming from Chilu. Where we look for is uh, in those specific therapeutic area I mentioned earlier, uh, together with the patient population. And uh, for instance, uh, you know, we look or not only uh, targeted a therapeutic, uh, targeted uh, cancer treatment, but also immuno oncology, among many others. And for instance, we have three research teams in uh, Boston here and in San Francisco, as well as in Seattle, working on the immuno oncology space, and where we are trying to discover. Uh, the most innovative treatment for uh, for patients. So you're doing in-house research, but are you also in licensing? Uh, very true. You know, we have uh, our team in in the U.S. as well as uh, in China, but also we have uh, in licensing uh, structure as well as uh, another thing is our innovation center. For instance, in Boston, we have a Chilu Boston Innovation Center where we have uh, a team on the uh, second floor of our uh, building to do uh, research, but also on the first floor, we have an innovation center where we work with uh, many startup companies as well as uh, researchers, try to uh, find the best way and uh, find the way also the fastest way to put products uh, onto the market or at least into the, uh, the clinics to help the patients. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So. Uh what is your personal role in the Innovation Center for Chilu here in Boston? I'm helping, thank you for asking, I'm helping the, uh, uh, the Chilu Boston Innovation Center to uh, reach out to as many startup companies as well as uh, entrepreneurs uh, to really provide what they need the most. For instance, if they need space, we have the uh, lab space, you know, we have uh, uh, open benches as well as uh, uh, enclosed uh, uh, 
uh, lab space where they can do their specific uh, uh, experiments and also uh, if they need we can provide uh, investments and also uh, in terms of equity investment as well as the collaboration deals. And what you're seeking for these sorts of uh, uh, in-kind contributions, it's China rights? Uh, that's uh, something we would like to have because uh, we believe we can bring to the table a lot of strengths uh, based on our experience working with Chinese regulatory agencies yes. and also the hospitals. Your understanding of the market in all of its different aspects. Very much so because we believe by working with uh, 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 companies such as Chilu with a lot of uh, experience in those areas, we can really speed up the drug development process and also uh, create a win-win situation for the entrepreneurs, for Chilu, more, most importantly for the patients. That's a great place to stop. Thank you so much, Larry. It's Thank been you, a pleasure Steve. to talk to you. Same here.